Hey guys, Nintendo Fanboy for the win here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do net play on Dolphin the Dolphin emulator for basically GameCube and Wii games. Now, sorry if you hear a noise in the background, but my air conditioner is running. It's hot as hell in my room right now, so sorry about that. Now, what I wanted to show you guys today was how to actually play online with your friends um, using the Dolphin emulator. So basically what you're going to be able to do is use the Dolphin emulator, which is, if you didn't know, an emulator for GameCube and Wii games, and you're going to be able to use them to um, basically play online with your friends, only it's not going to be online play with huge lag. It will actually be um, local multiplayer kind of thing. Uh, with minim as minimal lag as possible. So what you're going to want to do is in the description below I have included the link to the emulator. Uh, you must download this one, this exact emulator uh, or one with Netplay because this is the best uh, basically recommended um, emulator um, version for Netplay. So the 4.0-648 uh, is actually the best version. What you're going to want to do if you have Windows 64 or Windows 64 bit, you're going to want to do 64 bit. If you have 32 bit, you're going to want 32 bit. And by the way, guys, you will need a good internet connection. Uh, I'm not sure what the minimum would be for a good internet connection for this, but uh, I've noticed that if you have a bad internet connection, it obviously is going to be bad, but it's, it uh, also lags the game a lot. So you're going to want a really good internet connection, um, which is not hard to get nowadays. And you're also going to want to have a good gaming computer or something that will run a Dolphin emulator fairly to uh, gr uh, amazingly well. Now, if you didn't know, I actually built my computer a couple months ago. Um, for my birthday so I built my gaming computer and it runs Dolphin emulator at at least 60 frames a second um, basically constantly so you're gonna wanna have something like that otherwise you will have a lot of lag or just won't play at all so what you're gonna wanna do is install the or not install you're just gonna wanna download this for um, Windows 64 and then for me I already have this so I have my GameCube stuff now um, for me, I'm going to just show you guys how to play Project M, which is a Super Smash Bros. Brawl hack for um, basically turning Super Smash Bros. Brawl into a melee type of game. So uh, I have all my games here. Um, you're going to want to download whatever games you want, whatever games have online multiplayer or whatever. And basically, I have them here. I'm not, I'm not going to include the... Um, or I, I don't really want to include the uh, link to Project M because you know it is a hack links down in the description below but anyway um, so let's get into this so basically I have all my games here and I have where is it um, here is Super Smash Brothers Brawl this is really Project M and what you're gonna wanna do is if you're hosting the game you're gonna wanna press uh, right click on it and you're gonna wanna play press host net uh, host net play so after that, you're going to want to type in a nickname. It doesn't really matter. And what you're, this is the most important part. You're going to want to copy your ID right there, which is the ID. And basically what you're going to want to do is give that to whoever you're playing with. So maybe it's a friend, you're on Skype or whatever. This is what I've been doing. So I'm on Skype. And then what you're going to want to do, they must have the exact same ISO or the same version of the game. So you must have them get the same one but once they have that what you're gonna wanna do is go to tools and this is for the person that is uh, basically connecting to you so what you're gonna wanna do is come into tools connect to netplay then you're gonna want to get them uh, to get your code which you sent them and they put it in here you press connect and I don't have the the host there's no host right now so it's gonna say invalid but you will be connected and then what you can actually do is in here you can configure the pads and basically you can make yourself you're gonna your friends will show up here you can basically make your friend player one you can make yourself player one whatever and memory cards you can also put in their memory card slot if they if they have a better save file than you or you can do yours whatever you want um, basically have fun with that now this also works with GameCube games like I said uh, I try this out with a few games but the main one I was really lo loving to play was Melee uh, and also 
uh, double dash. So basically, you can use this with any game, really. You can use this with any game, um, GameCube or Wii. But uh, as long if you if you have the um, if you have like multi uh, local multiplayer in the game, it's going to be way better because you can play together instead of maybe possibly Pikmin 2, you might be able to connect, but they would just be watching you play or something like that, so um, it is like that, but basically, like I said, you're going to want to go into whatever uh, ISO, mod, whatever, and you're going to want to p connect and have them connect, and then basically you just um, start playing, so I'm just going to show you what it would look like, so right here, I'm just going to going to show you right here really quick. I am actually using the Xbox 360 controller. Oh, God. Um, by the way, if you're playing Project M, don't create a save file. It just takes forever. Uh, it does load, but it just takes forever, so don't do that. Um, but basically, if you... Oh, my God. It Basically, just you're going to come in here. It's going to start automatically, and you're going to be able to play with your friends. Uh, like I said, I am using the Xbox 360 controller because um, I don't have a GameCube controller adapter for my PC. I will be getting one soon, um, but hopefully the Nintendo one that is coming out for Super Smash Bros. will work for PC, so I'm sure people hack and whatever, but uh, I did find that the Xbox 360 controller actually works fairly well if you get the right layout, so I will include that uh, control layout in the description below, so I'll include my um, file, and you guys can use that if you want. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please thumbs it up. It really helps out the show, and I really appreciate it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go. See ya.